Today I want to take you back four years in time to 2014 when I began to build my layout. Specifically, I want to show you the construction of the Eastern Helix. That's coming right up. Hi, I'm Roy Smith. If you have seen my other recent videos, then you know that I'm thinking about ripping out one of the two helices on my layout, the one I call the Eastern Helix, which takes eastbound trains down to staging. The Eastern Helix has served its intended purpose, but I haven't been happy with it because it's hidden behind fascia and I have to duck under it to fix any derailments when they may occur in it. Some of you have encouraged me to keep it, and some of you have encouraged me to rip it out. I haven't decided what I'm going to do, but if I do decide to rip it out, I will have to replace it with a gradual incline to take trains down to staging. And if I do decide to rip it out, I want to show you how I put it all together before beginning any demolition. I began to build the benchwork for my layout in April 2014, including the benchwork that supports the Eastern Helix. Here you see the progress I made by August 2014. I built the layout in sections held together by carriage bolts. In August 2014, I took the sections apart and carried them up to my train room where I reassembled them. As I mentioned in previous videos, the Eastern Helix is a kit from Ashland Designs. Unfortunately, Ashland Designs no longer produces these kits. I installed Cato's super elevated double track in the Helix while standing inside the Helix. Using super elevated track in the Helix may not be a good idea, but I did it anyways because the parallel tracks come as a single section making it easy to lay track in a helix with a uniform radius compared to two separate sections of regular track side by side. In June 2015, I built White Mountain out of white styrofoam and spackling paste. I used white styrofoam because extruded styrofoam isn't available here in Panama where I live. I built it to hide the eastern helix that is under it. It's called White Mountain, not because I used white styrofoam to build it, but rather because White Mountain in southwestern Wyoming contains thick layers of white sediment stone. Finally, in October 2015, I painted it using Woodland Scenics Earth Tone Pigments, watered down with eight parts water to one part pigment. This is what White Mountain in Wyoming actually looks like along Interstate 80. And this is what White Mountain on my layout looks like today. As you can see, it continues to serve its intended purpose of concealing the eastern helix underneath it. Well, thanks for going back in time with me to 2014 to see how I constructed the Eastern Helix and the scenery on top of it. Sometimes it seems like we're not making the kind of progress we would like to make on our layouts. That's when it's nice to have old videos, photos, and even a journal to prove that we have in fact been making lots of progress. I'd like to invite you to subscribe if you're here for the first time and be sure to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes on this channel. I try to upload a new video every Saturday morning, although that can be a little more difficult when I'm traveling to the States, as I normally do several times each year. Until next time then, happy railroading. I will see you again very soon.